Hi everybody, it's about 100 degrees in the shade today, but guess what? I'm here to talk about Christmas. We have a lot of Christmas fabrics coming into the shop and if you're, if you're like me, you're always looking for a great idea for a quick and easy project that you can use for um, a gift for someone or even just to brighten up your own home. And I think I have the perfect project today. The, the project um, that I used is what I'm making is kaleidoscope blocks and these are so simple to do and they look really great and they all come from one piece of fabric. Um, you can use a large overall print fabric or if you find a great border print like this one that they have at Tiny Stitches, um, this makes absolutely beautiful kaleidoscope blocks. And this is the fabric that I used to make um, the table runner behind me. Um, all you need besides the fabric is um, a, a good kaleido ruler, um, either the ruler by Marty Michelle, hope you can see that, uh, or my personal favorite, the Wedge Star Ruler by uh, Deb Tucker from Studio 180 Designs. Both of these will make the, the uh, project behind me. Also, there is a book, The Winter Twist Quilt by Jason Yent Yenter, um, that has a lot of projects, uh, in, in kaleidoscope projects in it, and there is also a template in here that you can use to make the quilt block, the quilt blocks. Um, he also shows you different things in the book about how to make table, um, uh, tree skirts, uh, quilts, and different projects like that. Uh, with the kaleidoscope ruler project, you simply start by cutting your, um, your fabric into identical triangle pieces. And they're fussy cut so that they're all exactly the same. Um, and then you just sew those little triangles together and you start to see your circles develop. Um, if you take um, a, a coordinating fabric on every other corner, you can turn that block into a square. And then it's very easy to put the squares together into the full table runner. You can even use partial units um, at the end of the table runner. This is a great project that's quick and easy to do. And the fun thing about the Jason Yenter book is that it has a fabulous cookie recipe in it that includes cranberries, white chocolate, and macadamia nuts, or since we're from Georgia, pecans would work great. This is guaranteed to be Santa's favorite cookie on the plate. Um, stop by, try out the Kaleidoscope um, project. Uh, we have a class that's coming up on making the Kaleidoscopes. Um, the class is scheduled for Thursday, August 20th from 10 until 1, and you'll get all kinds of help for making um, your Kaleidoscope blocks. Bye.